guys, I'm using my same aloe vera mask to style my daughter's hair today. I'm just showing you that you can do the mask any time of day that you want and you can wear it out without worrying about flaking or anything like that. Now we'll be showing you guys a couple of styles that you can do with two ponytails as well. You guys just saw me chop off the white part and I'm just sitting that to the side. And then I'm going to chop off some nice size pieces um, to do my daughter's entire head with. And also enough to squeeze out a little bit of aloe vera gel just to sit on the side in a small container or um, condiment bowl. Once you have your pieces, you want to trim off the pointy ends. And then after you trim the pointy ends, you're just going to cut the aloe in halves. Once I finish cutting my pieces in halves, I'm just going to take an old pair of pantyhose or stockings and I'm going to cut the tip off and I'm going to use it as a strainer. I'm going to set the strainer to the side for right now and finish cutting up my aloe. I'm just going to cut the aloe in some smaller chunks so I can put it inside of the strainer or pantyhose. I'm cutting the aloe vera in chunks so that it will be easier to strain out of the pantyhose and I'm just going to put the chunks inside of the strainer and once they are in there I'm just going to use a jar or whatever I have just to smush the aloe vera down so that it can have a nice um, liquid or gel consistency and then I want to strain all of the gel out or liquid out. You guys can keep in mind that if you need to make more gel than I'm using here, you can use the aloe vera and put it in a food processor or a blender and put a little bit of water in with it, the mixture, just a tad bit because you don't want to dilute it because you still want that jelly consistency. And so you can blend it and then strain it in your pantyhose to make it easier and to have more. I'm just going to move my aloe vera gel to the side because now it's time to mix up my three oils that I chose and I'm using oils with this mask because it helps the hair not to flake and it adds extra moisture as well and also I've never used the aloe vera without oil so I don't know if it will flake with or without it a lot of people have asked me how do I keep the flaking down but I seriously have never had flaking because I use oil with it didn't mention it before, but you guys can use as many oils that you want or whatever oils that you want. I'm just using my favorite three for my daughter's hair, which are avocado, castor oil, and coconut oil. Okay, you guys, before we get farther into this video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that red button. And remember, it is always free. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can see the latest that's going on on this channel. And you guys, if you don't mind, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up. Okay guys, before we put the mask on, I want to go ahead and part her hair in the way that she will wear it. And so it's just going to be parted down the middle because it's going to be two ponytails. And then I will begin to apply the mask once I have one side pinned up. So I want to get the aloe vera all over the hair and all throughout the hair. Well, on the top part of the hair and the scalp. And it is very important to get it on the scalp because it does help to prevent itching and dandruff. Here I'm just going to put parts in the hair or part the hair as I go and rub the aloe vera all throughout the scalp.
Once I finish rubbing the aloe vera throughout this side of the head, I will take my spray bottle and spray the ends and use my oil mixture and put it throughout the hair. Once I finish this side, I'm doing the same exact thing to the other side. Once I finish the entire head, now it's time for styling. I'm going to do a little finger detangling just so it'll be easier to style the hair. Then I'm going to take my bristle brush and just brush the hair into a side ponytail or a ponytail on the side. And I am using rubber bands to hold the ponytail in place. I am perfectly okay with using rubber bands because I feel like you should just cut them or break them before you pull them off to prevent hair pulling or um, entangling. And just to intensify the cuteness, I will be adding bows to the top and the bottom of the plait. You guys do not have to, this is totally optional. And here I'm using my aloe vera gel that I squeezed out or strained out and I'm going to use it to lay the edges down in the front and it works so awesome. It's just like a control gel and it just lays everything down perfectly and it's all natural so you can't beat it. Okay you guys, this is style number one and I think it's a winner, but I'm going to show you guys two other styles just so you can have other options. Okay you guys, keeping the same ponytails, I'm just going to wrap them up into balls and this will be your style number three. Okay guys, for this last style, you will just take the ponytails and crisscross them at the top and you can hold them in place with a hairpin. And this style is my favorite, I think it's super cute, it gives you the Frida look, so I really like this one. And guys, just to add some more cuteness to this one, I'm just going to cut the lay and I'm going to take the two flowers and put them together and wrap a rubber band on there and preferably the same color rubber band as the flower. And then I'm going to take a hairpin and stick the flowers inside just to add some real cuteness to it. is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to share it because we all know that sharing is caring and i will see you guys in the next one bye